Welcome to Friday, July 28th, 2023, your day with a podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. What is MOTS? It's more of the same, just more of the same. So in this podcast this morning, I'm going to show you things that you've seen all week because there's really nothing new, just subtle little differences. And these subtle differences will change the weather a little bit in a few areas, but basically the same moisture pattern, the monsoon moisture flow continues. So this is going to continue to feed afternoon and evening. And as we saw overnight in some areas, overnight, some of you probably woke up to some thunder in some portions of the region as thunderstorms continued into the night. Now, as you'll see on the satellite imagery, there is some drier air on the western slope today and Saturday. Drier meaning no thunderstorms. It, do, it doesn't mean that. It means less thunderstorm activity on the western side of Wyoming and into Colorado and Utah today, and that'll continue tomorrow. But as you'll see on the satellite imagery, there's an impressive new plume forming in Mexico that's coming our way. So what'll happen is most of the thunderstorm activity today through Sunday is gonna be front range of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, down into New Mexico and points east from there. We'll still have some monsoon down into the desert Southwest. That shifting high pressure ridge, the models and the pattern still suggest that high shifting to Oklahoma. So we're continuing to be very confident that that deep moisture is gonna get brought into the region next week. And that's gonna lead to a heavy rain threat next week with the thunderstorms, with that deeper moisture coming our way, something we'll need to keep an eye on. And this has been a common sight, that monsoonal moisture, you get clouds like this. And when you get monsoon moisture come in, the thunderstorms, when they have the ability to tap into that moisture, uh, have the ability to form very quickly. They don't tend to last long. Their life cycles tend to be short, but they'll do a lot in their short life. And as you, if you look very closely through the trees there, you can see a lightning strike. Thank Richard up in northwestern areas of Wyoming in the Cali area there, sending us that photo. The high pressure ridge, you know what? It hasn't moved, has it? There it is, still over western New Mexico by noon today. So, different day, same weather. And here, once again, we can see the nocturnal thunderstorm activity. For you folks in that area overnight, probably heard some thunder. We see more thunderstorms and showers moving through the Midwest and Corn Belt. Timely rains continue to move through the Midwest and Corn Belt, and then dissipating thunderstorms out of Mexico and Arizona and New Mexico this morning. So it's been the same pattern. Now the satellite imagery this morning shows us a lot of information. So here are the thunderstorms that went overnight right here and right here, then right here. But you're probably noticing some streaks of orange, little fingers of orange coming in here. There is some drier air being brought into the flow. It's not completely dry. However, this is why western areas of Wyoming, northern Utah, western Colorado won't have as many thunderstorms today and Saturday. But look at this. This is eye-catching. This is a complex of a lot of thunderstorm activity in northwest Mexico. And then you can see the arch here of the next plume. So this is how it goes. You get a plume of moisture, which has been around for the last few days right here. Then it moves away. Drier air gets entrained into it. And then you bring in the next slug. So it's this next slug right here that comes in, really starts to come in on Sunday and then hangs around for many days next week. So the Sally imagery tells the story where the thunderstorms are gonna be here in the coming days. The precipitable water forecast for today shows us very well. This is by 6 p.m. So you can see a delineation here, the drier air west of the divide, still moisture, front range areas, and east of the divide. Hence, that's where the thunderstorms are gonna be. This is for Saturday, and then this is for Sunday. Notice there's more brown on the western slope today, starts to fade tomorrow, and a lot more on Sunday. Then we see this next area of moisture wanting to come on up and come around the high pressure ridge, which will still be here by the weekend, but beginning to move. So I'm gonna step you through the next few days where the thunderstorms are being forecasted. So you can see there's a real strong delineation between the front range and the divide areas and points east. So this is where the thunderstorms will reform this afternoon and evening. And this is the Storm Prediction Center outlook. The most severe weather along Interstate 80 across Iowa, across northern Illinois, northeast Nebraska, southeast South Dakota there, into the southern Great Lakes. So that's where the severe weather is going to be. But notice we have a marginal line 
going back to the front range of Wyoming and far northern Colorado. So we're going to have a few strong thunderstorms here. This is where we're going to be on Saturday. A very busy day, it looks like, in Nebraska, western South Dakota, eastern Wyoming, and eastern Colorado. Monsoon moisture is bringing rain now to Arizona, western areas of New Mexico, and that will continue closer to that plume we saw coming up out of Mexico. And then this is going to want to come up, and you can see that on Sunday. This is the severe weather risk tomorrow. So as we get through the next few days, there's still that risk east of the divide for some strong thunderstorms, meaning heavy rain, possibly some hail and some strong gusty winds. This is for Sunday. Notice Sunday there's a bit more now in Utah, so that moisture is starting to come on up. But from Alberta and British Columbia through southwest Saskatchewan all the way down, look at that, a lot of thunderstorm activity around the spine of the Rockies from Canada to Mexico, then across the southern plains and the Gulf Coast areas. This is the prediction for Sunday in terms of where the strong thunderstorms are going to be. By Monday, the high now is moving into southeastern Colorado on its way, headed eastward towards the southern plains. And you can see by that time frame, by late Monday, we're starting to see that deeper moisture come on in. So the thunderstorm activity on the western slope across Utah and the southwest really starts to increase again, and that moisture discontinues to get deeper. So that's by late Monday. This is by late Tuesday. This is by late Wednesday. The blue really showing a lot of deep moisture that the thunderstorms are going to be able to tap into. So we're going to, this is by late Thursday into Friday. So all of next week, it's going to be very busy with thunderstorms. And this is by next Friday. So there's really not a significant break at all for another seven days in this monsoon moisture flow. There it is by next Wednesday night into Thursday morning, the highs into Oklahoma. The door is wide open to that monsoonal moisture flow. So things are going to be changing. This will bring the heat to the central areas of the United States, give some relief from the heat to the southwest and parts of the Rockies. Have yourself a great weekend. We will see you on Monday, and we'll see where that monsoon is.